Hey Pete here for Studio Live today and today's GarageBand for iPhone quick tip is going to be super super quick. I'm going to show you something that I learned quite recently about GarageBand on iOS and that is that we can use folders to help keep our projects in order and arranged. So let's jump in and have a look at that right now. So here is my GarageBand screen and as you can see we have a whole bunch of projects, all individual files in the one main area here. Now what I want to do is actually create some folders so that I can have a, an ideas folder, a completed projects folder and a folder for the songs that I'm working on. So to show you how to do that, here are the four final mix versions of my recent EP and I'm going to put these into a folder. But the way to do that, if you go plus here and try to go add a new folder, you can see there's no actual option for that. Like a lot of iOS apps, what we need to do is actually tap and hold on one of these, and then we can actually move it, and it looks like we're gonna move it onto that one. And when we let go, you can see we've created a folder that now has those two in there. So I can now repeat that. If we tap out of there, we're gonna grab this one, pop that in the folder as well, and do the same with this. So now I've got all four tracks, the final mixes of my EP. I'll hit done. And if I tap on there now, there they all are. So I've got a folder with those four tracks. And of course I can come in here and name that folder. And I'll just name it EP for now. And hit done. And there we go. So we've now got a folder there. It's called EP. And it's, you can see it's slightly larger than the rest of the files. So you can do that with any of them. You just need to have two tracks, uh, two projects, drag them together, creates a folder, and it makes your GarageBand organization an awful lot easier.